Oké. Okay. Goed. Ik ben dus Hendrik Smit. Hallo. Vanwege een vraag van een kijker gaan we vandaag pizza bodems pakken. Ingredients. 1 kilo of flour. I recommend spelt flour because it is more healthy and the yeast seems to like it, which means better pizzas. Half a liter of water, 50 grams of good yeast, I use the clay type, not the dry ones. Sea salt or Himalaya salt or any good kind of salt. 100 milliliters of olive oil, it's about a wine glass. Preparations. Add the salt to the water, to salt for later, in the water, for the gist cellar. And that's for your yeast. Make the water lukewarm. A little bit for the yeast for preparation, to warm up. Take the yeast, add it to this little amount of water, in flakes. You can add some vitamin C and uh, palm sugar. Mix it up and add some flour so that the little guys can get used to it and see it live. If not, abort the mission. Take one kilo of flour. Add 100 milliliters of olive oil. Then the yeast, and make sure that the rest also comes out of the little bowl. And add the rest of the half liter lukewarm water. Now it's manual labor, mixing by hand. There's no substitute. Don't use a machine. The machine will destroy your dough. The routine for kneading, or however you pronounce that, is just to roll it out and massage it down and roll it up again until you have a big bowl. Put it in a dish, a bowl. Put the ball in the bowl and put it in a warm place with some cloth over it pre-rising. After this period, you have a bigger bowl. Surprise! See how lovely it became. Now you do some more kneading. About two minutes. Nothing more than that. satisfy. Then turn the dough into little balls of about 170 to 200 grams, roll them through the flour, again sticking, and put them all in a bowl. Take these little balls, now start rolling them out on your table. Of course you use some flour, again, again sticking. Turn them into a disc. It's a pre-shape. Put them down. Roll them with the rolling pin. And again, use enough flour to prevent sticking. Roll them around every now and then. Turn them over. The 
once a pizza is in a good shape, put them on a stack to have a second opportunity to rise. This makes it crispy. Once you have the complete stack, roll it over. To start with the first pizza bread, the one that has risen long enough, pre-bake. Put holes in your pizza bread to prevent ballooning using a fork. In the oven at some 200 degrees Celsius or more. Let the pizza bread out of the oven, let it get rid of some steam before putting it on the stack. And like this you make your stack ready for freezing. And this is just geheim om dus dunne krokante pizza worms te maken. Veel succes!